<clears throat> okay, then this better not lag like it always does and ruins the video. So, um, what is up? It's me in furnace. People say, you know, you've not been recording. Thing is, hey, lazy. And also, it's, what? you know, Christmas break, so shut up. And so, you know, there's nothing really that good to do. And so, yeah. So, basically, I got from the depths. How cool is that? But for some reason, anything I tend to record seems to like really really lag and so that's just like it's like not helping at all um like I've tried to change that and everything cause like Damn it. I'm going to settings you know I make it like you know uh, slower and stuff but it just doesn't want to seem to like you know work cause like if you can see here in the background and my mouse uh, it's already freaking slow, so I really can't do anything. Uh, and it's not gonna help you at all, cause you can't see my video. Um, I mean, it's probably cause the loading screen is laggy or something, I don't know. But look, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to try it, okay? Gonna start up a new game, and... Uh, difficulty, uh, I'm... Yeah, yeah, okay, that's... Yeah, okay, that seems fine. Uh... Quest for Neater, Onyx Wasp... Okay, okay, no, that's really... Actually, no, that's good. Okay, gonna begin a new campaign. But... Uh, um, it's really early in the morning as well, so... Uh, but... Like... Thing is, it's not gonna... You know work that well because it's just gonna lag for you guys so like I can't do anything about it um uh don't know why this isn't going up oh, yet yeah, not responding well oh okay okay I'm in Ooh, okay this is not good Ooh, ooh hold on Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, this is gonna suck. Um, if it's pretty laggy for me, it's gonna be freaking laggy for you guys as well. Oh god, so that starter cannon is pretty crap, I can tell you that bit. <sighs> it's so laggy I can barely even get to the ground. See, and th th this is what I mean by, um, I have bad, the, my, some bad recording software. So, yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's me. It's me. Uh. Uh. But, yeah. Like, literally. Dirt. <laughs> Lol. That's, that's an awesome animation right there. But, I'm gonna just go in, uh, check something out real quick. Um, ooh, I don't know what's going on in there, but. Whatever. Um, now that's audio, this is advanced settings. Uh, oh god, I'm going way too off. Whatever. Um, but I sure as hell am lagging. Hmm. Yeah, and I won't move now. Come on. Come on. <sighs> well, that that's a really loud truck. Yes. You won. Hmm. Well, what happened? Okay. That must be the, the freaking garbage truck, cause damn, that's a loud truck. For video, do, 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 do. Um, uh. Hmm. Hmm.
Hmm. I really don't know what's going on. I'm like, I can't move at all. Like, I'm just sitting here just thinking, why can't I move? And just, just I'm just sitting here, like, just waiting. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yes. I finally got it. I got back control of it. Okay. Is it still lagging for you guys? Because I'm, I'm really laggy. Oh, whoa, 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 where am I? Oh, okay. I'm here. Uh, right, right about now, three is like the maximum drills you can have on your ship, and it's just, just gonna be set. So, yeah, but you really can't do anything about it. So, this thing right here, uh, mm, I know how to make cannons, and I can make tutorials on it. But it's not like I am going to do that. I mean, look at this. It's like a really big cannon as well, so... You know what? Yeah. Yeah, we might as well just make a tutorial on making cannons. Because first off, IJ Games and, and does not know how to make one. So basically, first off, if you, you know, know how to make the cannon and everything, and yeah, okay, but um, that's, that's not the point. Basically, here's the thing. Uh, when you hit B, you come here. And ooh, oh, sorry, it's it's a bit slow because of the lag. Um, but look, you hit B, okay? And the one thing you really need to do is find uh, this block. Go to AI um, local weapons controller, okay? And just um, place it there. And okay, let me see. Uh, actually, no, I'm I kind of do want to fall safe. This this thing makes it so that you don't shoot your own ship, like well, your AI doesn't shoot uh, your own ship. So yeah, um, uh, but there is no guarantee that it will not um hit uh, your other ships. So be careful. Um, okay, so oh come on, come on, tab. Okay, there, perfect. And so what this will do is like it. The main AI, which is um, in this room over here, this one right here. Um, so this right now is the starting uh, thing or base or whatever. And yeah, so here's the fortress uh, controller, and you can add like more AIs to it and everything, Ugh. like cards and and, sh and stuff like that. Like um, if I can find the, uh, oh here it is. There is a, there are battle cards, which is good for fighting off enemies. Uh, first off, I'm going to make more uh, of the, oh wait, wrong one. I need the front and back one. Perfect. And so basically what these AIs do is basically they they help your ship like, um, or fortress AI like attack and stuff. So yeah, um, right on here there's a transmitter and everything like. You should just learn how to make the AI in a different video. Right now, this is for like um, uh, turrets. So there I am. Here's the center of mass of the whole thing. And um, yeah, so over here, we set this up. And now to actually have it work, you gotta get right here. Oh, oh sorry. You gotta get right here under the block and go upwards. And then. Is right here. You gotta build your AI right here. Go to new objects. Go to uh, one access turret or two access turret. You guys can choose whatever you want, but I personally enjoy going with two access turrets. Come on, flip properly. Come on. Okay, there. And so now I'm gonna build onto this thing blocks. So first off, what you're gonna want to do is like build a base for it. I usually end up making mine out of like. Um, metal or something just just because they're like a really sturdy block and because you know a lot of people have OCD it's gonna to, to do this this come on okay it's actually it is mirrored okay just not right not properly what doop doop is it fixed now yeah okay that's fixed hey hey stop talking to yourself uh, actually, um, I don't know. For you people who use a uh, key keyboard, it's like different. 
So it was, it's probably easier for you guys, but I'm more used to like the uh, mouse controls. So it's like, if you're wondering what I'm using that, I don't do the, the thing that like any normal person does in the games. It's just because I'm not using the same thing. Now, uh, I'm currently out of metal. And since the resource gatherers are pretty slow, you like gotta wait for the thing to like hurry up. And so um, now you go to uh, not AI. You go to either if you want an advanced cannon, I could do a separate video on that. But that's if you guys want to. For now, we're gonna do a regular custom cannon. So first off, we need the firing piece. And so, since I want it to be a two can, um, a two barrel, I mean two cannon um, gun, or two barreled gun, I mean, I don't, I really don't know what I'm, ta I'm saying right about now. Um, you're basically gonna want to put them there, and for this to actually work, oh great, and I'm all out, uh, out of scrap or something. I don't know. Hold on, what does this take? Uh, um, mm, yep, I know. Actually, I'm out of metal. Great. Great. You know, I don't know if it works or not, but if I put more resource gatherers, will it, like, speed up? I don't know. But basically, you gotta, like, put... Nope. That's not mi mirrored. Let's see here. Raw resources? No. Uh, okay, there. I'm gonna get a... Okay, this. Uh, dupe. Can I get over here? And I'm gonna put it over here just cause. I mean, there's an extra slot here for it as well, so. Gonna come over here, gonna do this, gonna put. Uh, da, da. Perfect. And let's see if that sped it up a little bit. Yeah, well, a little bit. Okay, then that, that actually helped a bit. It's speeding up as you can see. What if I add another? Other way. Over here. Now, um, I should try not to, but I want to make this symmetrical just because, um, OCD purposes. Uh, put this here. Is that firing? Okay, yeah, that's firing. Is it, did this speed it up as well? Yeah, okay, how about now? I'm not sure if that's sped it up or not, because it actually seems to be slowing down a bit. What I'm looking at right now is like the bottom of my screen. It's like, um, it's just that. That's how many resources I have. What if I... Um... I don't know, the speed really did not change it, even if I deleted those. I guess 4 is like the maximum. I just guess four is the mass, the maximum, I guess. Whatever. Back to custom cannons. We need a six-way connector. Um, I should have probably done this in sandbox. Should have probably done this in sandbox. Uh, blocks. I might as well just get a wood block because you know I have a ton of those. Oh, I know why it's not working. Because I wasn't selected onto the thing. Haha, <laughs> derpy me. So, uh, no custom. Six way. Boop. Uh, boop. Okay, now. Uh, place. Okay. Uh, why am I. I hate this lag, by the way, so. Hmm. Let me see if I can. F hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Um. Sorry, I'm in my settings right now, checking something out, so give me a second. Hmm. Uh Hmm. Yeah, okay, it all seems it all seems right. I don't know why why I keep lagging so much every time I record. But whatever. Back into the game. Uh basically now that you have these here, what you got to do is uh, come over here and do this. Okay? Now that have you now that you've done that, 
basically there's enough separate barrels okay don't make them connected or you cannot fire so let's if I let's say if I put one of these uh, six-way connectors here if I put the if I were to put this here uh, none of these two cannons will not fire because it would um uh, basically either the AI or the main ship will have problems firing so do not basically put a six-way connector in, in between your barrels uh, I'd co cover this up with either the, the block you're using for your base or something so you basically have like a barrel here and barrel here like they're separate so that's how it works but now you need a um, why not let's just do the barrels I come over here dupe um, there put the barrel here and as you can see the, these barrels are tiny they're tiny tiny barrels right uh, you can fix that with uh, gouge uh, increasers <sighs> I need more I need more blocks what is what do these take 10 okay it takes a hundred metals so yeah that's one thing I don't have but I really need, I need more metal for better turrets. Um, currently there is no metal I can scrap right now. I just gotta wait for the resource collectors to work its magic. But this is gonna take forever, which, which actually just sucks. But look, since I already have like 100 already, I'm just, I might as well just put one right, uh, I guess right here. And watch the barrel as it. Oh, I almost have 200. Look, watch the barrel as it increases in size when I put one of these down. See, um, thing is, if I would have put it here, uh, the six, the the um gouge increaser here, it would have the same problem as if you put one of the six-way connectors. So do not put these here. Okay, so like, yeah. I mean, you can put anything in the middle if you have like one cannon, like over there. But that's like the starter cannon, so yeah. But oh, I'm really sorry. It's like early in the morning, and I just started recording for you guys because I thought, you know, I haven't really been recording, so I might as well just record. So the manual orientation, you have to like actually um the ammo ammo loaders, like with the manual orientation, you have to have to do it yourself. But I like doing the auto um, auto loader um, auto orientation orientation because it seems to be easier for me. So yeah, that's just a side note over there. Ugh. <sighs> I'm already out of blocks. I'm so angry. You know what I need, you guys? I really need to switch this to like the other game mode. I mean, if I get at least one ammo box. Oh, if I get at least one ammo box on these, I can be able to shoot it. Okay, perfect. Uh, resume, and I'm gonna get out of build mode. And I'm getting to gonna. Oh, oh crap! I'm under the thing. Hold on, let me just get out real quick. And see, there in my there's my pre-built cannon. It's a pretty badass looking cannon, if I do say so myself. And so here's my mini cannons. And um, for you people who are like still new to the game, you fire with control or middle mouse button. Okay, but if, as you can see, I only I only put one one ammo box, so it's like it's not gonna have that much ammo or reloading speed. So yeah, see, you fire, and it's also not very accurate because it only has three barrels on it. So the barrel basically can be whatever size you feel like. Doesn't naturally have to be like a type, but you know what? I'm just gonna save it here. Um, oh no, not save constructible. No, 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 no. Actually, no. This I really didn't do much, so I, I might as well just go to main menu already. And I'm going to switch this off to um, hmm, off to sandbox mode or the character um, creator. I'm uh, gonna go to um, wait. Let me go to the character sheet real quick. I have um, okay then. Um, items, skills, items. I have those. Uh, no. Okay. Avatar. No. Okay. Uh, unlock flat. No. Uh, quick. Okay. 
single player. I'm gonna go to the vehicle designer because that's where you have like in infinite blocks and everything. Um, they have different types of vehicles, but you can choose whatever. You oh my god, you can choose whichever you like. <sighs> this yawning is gonna kill me. Just gonna launch the vanilla the van vanilla designer now. So yeah, I'm in my little raft now. Uh, if you can see down in the bottom where I had like a hundred something medals and, and stuff, now I have infinite. So now I'm gonna hit B. And uh, first off, what I hate about these ships is making like the um, uh, a perfect um, base for the ship to float on. Um. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some wooden uh, beams. And this is what I just do with every single ship I have. I just look at here, go to this middle, center it. Just do this. Like, honestly, it just seems easier for me. I can fill in the holes later. But I just leave a, a big gap in, like, between the, the ship's things. So, I mean, that's not that good of a thing to do. But, uh, I mean, I quite bother. Poop. Okay. Um, put this here, put this here, oh, uh, wait, hold on, hold on, control, okay, perfect, now I won't rock from everywhere to everywhere, uh, when you hit control, basically, you, um, uh, it, it freezes your, your thing in the sky, uh, and you can, like, it takes that out of the water and freezes it in the sky so you can, like, build better. And this is how you basically, you can actually build uh, good uh, things with this. Okay, I think this is pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy. Uh, I mean, I might edit around the, the front a bit, because it's a bit flat of a nose it has. So I might as well fix the nose real quick. Oh my god, this lag is killing me. This lag. Okay, put this here. Uh, okay, no. Down, okay. Uh, might as well make it longer a bit, like just a wee bit longer. Um, uh, okay, that seems seems fairly good. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll leave that like that now. So basically, I have this little uh, starting off little uh, base for my ship. I mean, if you fill this uh, these blocks in, it'll be a pretty decent ship if I do say so but um I don't really you know wouldn't really use this uh, type of ship design if I were you uh, that's if you're making a, a, a battleship so yeah now one thing I do hate about the fill tool you actually have to look uh, downwards if you want to fill to fill fill it like horizontally like that so that's one thing that's like really bad about this game that they should fix But yeah, I mean, the fill tool is actually pretty good. So, like, once you have, like, um, blocks that are, like, completely filled up, you can just look at it and just hit F, like, I mean, hold F, and you can, like, fill it in. But you have to be, like, looking down for it. Now, see, the one thing I do hate is that um, it doesn't mirror whatever you uh, fill in. And for wooden blocks, they do this thing where they, they turn into logs, and uh, this is so annoying. And of course, I have to mirror every, anything I build just because OCD. Uh, boop, boop. Boop. Uh, boop. Uh, wood blocks. And so, yeah. Okay, so basically, you can just fill this up whenever you feel like it. I'm just showing an example. Like, you don't have to fill up the whole ship. But if you're going to build a, like, a battleship or something like that, you should probably do that. Um, so, yeah. Basically, let me just finish up uh, filling this in like so just you know just cuz wheezy and then um I'm just going to finish instructing you on how to build your turrets gonna fill this in. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't turn into logs Fill this in as well Fill these in Fill this in Okay, then that seems good Pretty decent. Fill this in as well. Perfect. So there, I finished f uh, filling in my thing. Uh, 
really decently quick because of my fill tool. Now, advanced, uh, not advanced, custom. Um, I guess you don't need to like actually literally have a, uh, a turning piece for it. But if you really want to, you could, okay? But technically, if you want to build, build like a ship that has like its own built-in cannon, you could just do this. Hold on. Like if you have that custom cannons thing, or if you want to like be those ships where you have cannons attached to your ship, and it's like, you, damn it! I, for some reason, I'm like that the person who likes to just spam um, cap locks when it's on because I'm not used to having it on. Basically, if you want the cannons that will move with your ship, you can just keep uh, the firing piece here, get the barrels, and put them on. And as you can see, this actually kind of works, okay? Um, now, all you need to do is get your six-way connectors, like I said last time. And now, since we have this big old gap here, we can fill it, like, here up to there. Just make sure you don't make them touch. If not, both barrels will not fire. Now, here's another thing. If you have, like, one ammo piece touching from this barrel, touching an ammo piece from this barrel, it's not going to work. So I might as well do this. And then, like this. And do and then do the same thing over here. Now, um, okay. Now that you've done that, you want to get your auto loaders, your six-way auto loaders, right here. Uh, not six-way. Your auto. Bless you. Your automatic um, turning or positioning auto loaders, and put them here, uh, like so. Now, what you want to do is uh, get your ammo barrels or ammo boxes or whatever you would call them, and put them on. Now, they have uh, piercing uh, warheads, piercing armor warheads, which like are better um, for you know penetrating metal blocks, and then they have explosive, which are good for like uh, frail ships that you want to get rid of. Uh, explosives will like you know explode on impact and like kill the ship like really fast. So yeah. Now you can have the barrels touching on this side though, so that's that's the good part. Or or maybe not if I'm mistaken. I don't know. But okay. There, that's a pretty basic uh, design for your um, ship. Uh, nope, I just hit cap locks again. So now I'm gonna just hit B again, and I'm gonna come over here in between my cannons. Oh, hey, they can actually kind of move a wee bit. Oh, something's yeah. Okay, whatever. Look, but if you fire, uh, okay. Oh, oh, hey, that's actually some really okay. Ooh, actually, that's that's, that's pretty decent. Let's try to hit that thing. I just gotta turn. Oh. Oh, that's that's cool. I uh, just figured this out. If you um, if you're basically um, oh, up, go up. Uh, cap locks. Oh, right. I I'm not in build mode. <laughs> basically, if you're firing and you hit cap locks, you will follow your bullets. If people who didn't know that are you know watching this video, just just say. Um, now I'm going to get a, um, no, water, a boat propeller. Now it's good to put the little ones on, uh, just because. You can put the little ones on the bottom as well. You can put the little, one on, little ones on the bottom as well. And you can, but the huge ones you should put the same level I put this on here. And I'll just put a huge one there. Because if you put it down here, um, you basically add the risk to your boat that it will flip over because of um, how it's placed um, because if it's dude shut up I'm trying to record man and so basically when you uh, it's gonna have like the, the problem of if you put it down here it's gonna flip because the center of mass uh, currently is like right about there and so you don't want to put the lift under you uh, um, the force of um, movement under or thrust or whatever you want to actually put it like on it so it would be either on this block or the one block on top. So yeah. So yeah. Um, now, for a rudder though, on the other hand, a rudder, you really don't need to do anything. You just got to get the rudder and put them down like, like so and you'll be good. You'll be set. Now to control your little boat, you're going to have to have water. I mean control, a vehicle controller and a ship wheel for your ship. Um, a vehicle controller is for airplanes or, or things like that, or blimps or whatever, or helicopters. And then, yeah, now, 
if I can seem to um, uh, control. You need you're gonna basically want a chair so you don't move everywhere. Like let's say your, your boat flips. If you have this chair, you're gonna still stay on your boat. It's like you lock yourself onto your boat. Now we're gonna go to um no 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 okay okay um B gonna get in my uh thing. Actually, no what no hold on no. hold on. I'm just come out get over here and I'm gonna make our barrel bigger better. Perfect. Um, let's see. Gonna get to our barrels. So I'm gonna delete these right here. The barrels that we have, like, um, over here, real quick. And just because, um, custom cannons, um, you need this thing called a, um, elevation barrel. If you have, like, a, um, that one way turret axis I told I was using in the other thing. If you have this, um, this one also, this one is for, you know, making your thing look upwards better. It's not good for anti-air uh, fighting. Then I'm going to want a recoil suppression barrel so I don't, you know, the ship doesn't move everywhere. Going to want a, um, this thing right here, a, no, a, a motor driven barrel, my bad. And there you have your barrel. Now, to make them bigger, like I said, the gauge gauge increasers put them here or that's like where I put them just just because but the more you put the bigger they are you can make them how crazy big you want you just gotta put enough of the gauge increasers around this is like the max size for them so yeah basically it's like five um, no no that's that's rather f basically it's like six or something for its no is that six? Yeah, that's six. I don't know why I'm thinking it's not six. It's like four plus two, so yeah, that's six. Um, basically here, since I did that, um, I can go back over here, and now they'll look upwards better. But the bit now here's the problem. Um, they'll basically have different um elevation because um the bigger they are, the harder it is for for them to aim. Now can't aim. Okay, can't aim in that direction. Also, it kind of just it, having bigger cannons also sort of um, lowers your fire rate. So yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you guys. Now you're gonna sit on this chair, gonna hit tab, gonna come over here, so I can drive and actually control my barrels. Can I control my barrels, please? How about now? Can you let me control the barrels? Well, yes or no? So we're actually a bit quite front heavy, I can tell you that bit. Um, so basically, you know, I'm not that expert builder guy who's like, yeah, you're gonna make an awesome, awesome floor on the bottom, bro, for it to be like an awesome ship. I'm not gonna be that guy. All I'm gonna do is get some wood, um, um, crate, um, not crates. Uh, whatever these are, do this. And I forgot to mirror it, so it's going to take me a lot longer to build this. No, 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 no. So, yeah, I'm going to build that there. Like so, okay, and, uh, I guess just make the flooring like that so far, like, like, okay. Now you're going to go to wood block, boop, boop, uh, um, oh great, the center of, um, the center of mass is like, moved, so that's not good. Or is it? Oh, it's still there, I think. <sighs> Even if I tell you, like, be, to be quiet because I'm recording, you still talk? Whatever. Look, so there I have that. Now, I'm surprised water doesn't go through there. Like, in real life, that water would go through there. Now, gotta find that hole I have in there. Ah, perfect. Hey, that's not that's not centered. That's not centered in the ship. Ah, oh, great, great. Now I have like one really big chunk over here. Okay, I'm sorry, but OCD's like fix this, or you will be like not, or you will be sorry. So I'm sorry, I have to fix that, you guys. Um, uh, ooh, okay, wood beams. Huh? Oh right. Yeah, not not symmetry, right? Ah. <sighs> okay. Hoop, boop, 
Uh, come on. <sighs> boop. Boop. Um, boop. Wood blocks. Boop. Boop. Um, doop. Doop. Since I'm a lazy builder, I'm just gonna do that, okay? Now. Oh, this is already f um, empty? There's no water in it. Or is there? Oh no, I forgot that block was connected to that holding that chunk right there, so my bad. So, no one really cares though, so I'm just gonna do this. Perfect! Nope, water still gets in there somehow. Oh, I see the back. The back chunk. Great, everything's falling no apart way. now. Dude, like, how many times do I have to tell you be quiet, man? Like, I'm trying to record, come on! So, okay, that seems about right. Um, now I gotta go to water. Gonna get my air pump. Gonna put it in there. And that doesn't seem... That seems way too... Okay. Um, and as you can see, that actually helped out quite a bit. Because um, air is less... Uh, how do I put this? Um, dense, or... Yeah, than water. So it floats. Now you could always make this bigger. You could always make this bigger, which I should probably do, but this is just a tutorial video that, but I mean, you know, I might as well just do it right now just because Wheezy. Boop. Okay, and up here. This is going to be a really long video, I'm sorry. But it's going to probably make up for like all the time I've not recorded. Just a wee bit. So, okay. Is all that seem to be in proper order? Yeah, okay. I can, I think I just, I can just delete these already. And will this make it better at floating? Yeah, I did. See. Esto es un video. Okay. <sighs> well then. Okay. This is gonna take forever, but yeah. Like, I'm gonna have to pause the video real quick though, because, you know, my mom just came in and she's like, uh, clean your room. Even though it's like not that dirty, I mean, just look at it, but whatever. Just gonna pause it real quick and be right back. And I'm back. So, uh, I made some ship modifications. Like so, um, I put more of these, but for some reason, the, um, what are these, the air pumps are not working in the back that I set up, and so that's not really good. Like, I have, like, an air pump in here somewhere. Uh, so I put an engine on, I put some routers, um, yeah, put some fuel, some ammo for the ship to be able to move and stuff, and so yeah. So basically, if I go down here, this compartment right here is like, it has um, stuff inside, and yeah, but for some reason I can't seem to uh, use it. Anyways, over here, I, I even made a, the pathway from over here to here. It's like, see this air pump isn't working, this air pump isn't working, I really don't know what's going on, because like I checked, there are no holes. These are not holes, there's no holes up there, the holes down here, up. Oh. Watch, I bet you this isn't even, this isn't even gonna help. Watch, boop. boop. Look at this, watch. See? Oh. Oh. Guess I just mixed some mist and blocks. <laughs> well, my bad. But now let's go check up on the ship's buoyancy. Let's see where it's at. Ooh, okay, that's, that's pretty decent. I mean, it's sort of tilting over there, but thanks to this little. Uh, platform things I put over here, we're good. So I put some turning uh, assistance up there, a big propeller in the back, and yeah. Now, what I'm planning to do is, um, well, this is actually cannon tutorial, it's pretty easy. I, I made the, uh, not only the cannons larger, but I put some explosive warheads. But since this does not have an AI, we cannot, uh, you know, make it a turret. It's actually a cannon you have to fire yourself.
They're actually really good cannons though, which is the, my favorite part. They go right fire and I hit cap locks. They shoot pretty far away. So these would make uh, good turrets, I think. But yeah, that's that's pretty much for this video. Um, just a little quick from the deaths video. I'm sorry if something, you know, was like way too lame or you did not like some of it, but you know, just a little tutorial video for me. Um, like, favorite, subscribe if you want to, I really don't care. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.